Next, the year is 1987, and a new kid at school struggles to fit in. That's the premise of Before I Change My Mind. The movie hits video on demand and digital platforms tomorrow, and it's a coming-of-age story about a kid named Robin who doesn't let gender define who they are. Robin, American. Hey. What are you? Vaughn, you're fantastic Thank in this you. film. From <laughs> just the dialogue to even little gestures and the storytelling from your body language to just the way your character, Robin, processes everything. How much fun, first of all, was it to be able to take on a role? It was a lot of fun. I mean, it was the first non-binary character that I got to play. So I got to represent a part of myself yes. through this role. So that was a lot of fun and Robin is, I think, really different from me. Yeah. So taking on a character and kind of building up a completely different personality from who I am was also like a lot of fun and a little yeah. bit of a challenge. You're scared. I'll go. Are you lost? Will you buy some beer? The film follows Robin, played by Vaughn, a new eighth grade student in small town Alberta who struggles to fit in and define who they are. How would you say this story specifically will stand out to people and set it apart from some of the other classic coming out stories? I feel like Robin is the hook. Robin is the wedge. The fact that this kid walks into a new school and everybody's like, is that a boy or a girl? Yeah. I have no idea. But it's 1987, so nobody has language for this. Yeah. So that sort of just falls away. It's always functioning but nobody's talking about it. It doesn't get addressed as the point and Robin still has to survive grade eight. Mm. And then we expand off of that and suddenly all the other characters in the movie, we start to realize, oh, how do they answer the question? What am I? What are you? Yeah. You know, how do they self-identify? You kids are gonna learn to get along if it kills you. Are you okay? I don't know. I think just having queer characters be queer and not have it be the center of the story is mm -hmm. really important to have in media. It's important to tell stories about, you know, queer people and how they experience the world, but it's also important to just have queer people be people yeah. and it just kind of be normalized. So I think having that, I hope it inspires more films to kind of yeah. just have it be natural. Yeah.